police say they have identified some of the people involved in the shooting, but so far there have been no arrests. Now, this latest shooting happened as a teen was sitting right here. 382 Cedar Street in Manchester. According to police, around 10:30 last night, a 17-year-old was sitting on the steps with two friends. He saw three men get out of a car, one armed with a handgun. Police say the teen and friends started to flee. As the teen was closing the door behind him, he heard a gunshot and felt an impact in the doorway uh, in which he was standing. The teen did suffer a minor abrasion, which did not require medical attention. I heard a bunch of ruckus out in front in the front hallway. And then I heard a pop sounding like a gun. Police would recover a 22 caliber shell casing from the scene. Hinkle is thankful that it wasn't a bigger caliber weapon. Because it would have probably come through the wall where my grandchildren's bedroom is up front. The apartment building is located at the corner of Cedar and Maple Streets. It's the same area where there have been two other recent shootings. Back on June 8th, a 22 year old man was shot in the leg on Maple and Lowell Streets. And then last Wednesday, a 23 year old man was shot in the back in an alley near Maple and Amherst Streets. We are certainly examining the possibility that they are connected. There is no definitive information at this point that would link them. Police say in this latest case, it appears the teens were targeted, although the 17 year old told police he didn't recognize the attackers. Meanwhile, neighbors are worried that the violence is escalating. Move to my house is that it's getting very scary. The suspect is described as a black man, about 6'2", with light skin, bad acne, and a thin build, wearing white shorts, a gray hoodie, with black sneakers and white socks pulled up high. The car said to be a newer silver Chevy Impala with dark tinted windows. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.